Assalamu alaikum, this is Fahim. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can install XAM alongside MySQL Workbench. Now, as you can see, I have already installed MySQL Workbench in my machine. Now, if you don't know how to install and configure MySQL Workbench for your Windows operating system, then I already have created a video for you. Please make sure to check that out. And if you want to run or you can say if you want to use mysql workbench and xamp side by side then my recommendation would be to install mysql workbench before installing xamp all right so make sure to watch the video where i have showed all of the steps for installing mysql workbench on your system then come to this part where i will be installing xamp and i will change the configuration so that I can run both of them side by side because as you know there might be some flash in the port number all right now as you can see my uh, my mysql workbench is competitive functional right now so yeah I can safely close it for now and now comes the part where I need to install them all right now obviously we would use the official installer from the official website apachefriends.org samp simply go there and choose the latest version for windows like for me this would be samp for windows and here you go all right now i'm not sure why they are providing me an html file instead of an exe file but i can simply click here and I can download the latest version from the source forge net also. All right, so that will work. Yeah, this has provided me with the latest installer executable file, so I can simply download it. But I'm not gonna download this file again because I have already downloaded the file, so I'm simply going there. All right, now I have successfully downloaded the installer file and this is the installer file. So what I would need to do, I need to simply double click here. This is the installation window from XAMPP and here they are giving me a prompt. It seems you have an antivirus running. Yes, that is the case. In some cases, this may slow down or interfere the installation of the software. Please visit the following link to learn more about this. All right, continue with installation. I don't need to worry about that because I'm gonna change some settings later anyway. So I can simply click yes. And another warning, again, I don't necessarily need to worry about that because I'm gonna tweak some settings anyway. So simply you can follow me. So click okay. And then this is the setup window. Simply click next. I don't need to worry about any of this here. Simply click next 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 and next so give it some time to unpack all the files and install them and if i'm not mistaken they also download some file directly from the internet so make sure that you have a stable internet connection all right it might take some time depending on your system configuration and internet speed so i'm gonna fast forward this from now all right now it has successfully installed the xamp control panel so they are prompting us whether we really want to start the xamp control panel right now but i don't think that's a good idea because i want to tweak some settings first so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply uncheck this box and simply click finish And then comes the important part, tweaking the changes. All right, so simply go to C drive. And here I need to go to this XAMPP folder where I have installed XAMPP. So here I have to scroll down until I get the XAMPP control.exe. Simply click here and go to properties. From here, go to compatibility and make sure to select or you can say make sure to check this box run this program as an administrator then click apply and okay that's it now 
I can simply open XAMPP from anywhere I want. Let's say I am pinning it to my start button. Sorry, start menu. And if I simply click here, it will prompt me whether I really want to allow this app to make changes. Obviously, you can select yes if you have downloaded the official version from the official website. All right. Now, yes, you can see these type of things uh, problem detected. This is obvious because port 3306 is already getting used by my another client that is mysql workbench and that's why i told you that i need to tweak some settings first all right let me show you how i can do that so first of all let's go to apache config and php my admin config.inc.php and here i need to change the port number so let's say let's say where i need to do that let's say uh, here i need to change this all right i need to change this from here to something like local host and a new port let's say i want the new port to be something like 5396 but you can give any other port number which you don't normally use in any other application or uh, which is not getting used by other application you are using in your pc let's say i can also give 5211 or 5222 but let's say i'm gonna go with 522 all right five triple two let me copy it because i'm gonna need it all right um, okay now i can simply save it and close it and then go to mysql config my dot ini now i need to change something here as well you see the port number three three O six. I need to delete it and paste the earlier port number which I have used earlier five triple two. Then let's scroll down a little bit. Here, bind address. I need to change it from here to local host colon and the new port number all right then 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 uh i think that's it but all right i need to change this port number also so this won't be 3306 this would be 5222 my new port number all right so port 5222 5222 okay localhost 5222 all right now let me check whether this port number is getting used to anywhere else or not don't worry about this if you have hash at the first because this indicates that this is commented so it won't get read by the compiler or software anyway so all right change master to master host all right let me simply check something to port let me simply change the master port to this and then All right, I guess this is it. I can simply save this and close this file. And now I need to go to config. From here, I need to go to service and port settings. From here, I need to go to MySQL and change this main port from 3306 to 5222. And click on save. Save. Now let me quit this control panel and reopen it all right 
running with administrator rights, which is good. Checking off our prerequisite, all prerequisite founds. No errors are there. Cool. Now let me simply start the Apache server. It's running. No error there. And now stop part. Now let me simply start the MySQL server. Start. All right. MySQL shut down unexpectedly. Block post. Okay. Starting. Okay. I need to change something more, I guess. Let's see. PHP my admin. A few moments later. Now let me simply try again. MySQL. Oops. Well, as that didn't work, now let me simply try to troubleshoot the error. So I can simply go to logs and MySQL error log. Let's see what exactly went wrong. Unknown variable master port 5.2. Alright, so let me troubleshoot this. I can simply go to the config of MySQL, my.ini. And from here, I need to find that line. Here's the line. So I can simply comment it like this. And then I can save it by clicking file and save. And let me simply close it and try it again. Apache server start. Then MySQL start. It doesn't run. Well, now let me try it again. So I can go to the configuration file of MySQL, my.ini. And now mm. let me do something like all right. I can simply comment this line bind address so i can simply add a hash here and i can simply save this file and close this and now let's start running apache cool and mysql and if i simply click admin voila here you go it's working so my xamp is working and also my mysql workbench is working side by side so that's how you can use mysql workbench and xamp side by side by tweaking the changes so yeah you have already seen that what change i have made and which went wrong but i won't delete any of them because you can also check the video and you can learn from my mistakes so that's it thank you everyone i will see you in another video till then take care.